if you're like down here, right? And you got. I'm like, scared. Hold on, he's like, gonna say something. Up here, right? When you're um when you first learn how to shoot, it's usually better to shoot in the um, isosceles stance, right? Both arms are even. Your entire body is like straight, right? Your legs are lined up with your shoulders, and and you're shooting right out in front of you like this. But the way I didn't know this until I started watching her shoot, right? But um, what happened was. When she, when she fired, right, when she was shooting like this, and she shot, the way that the recoil traveled through her body would make her ass jiggle in the most delicious oh. fucking way. Oh my god, it was the most beautiful fucking sight I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I don't know how it worked, but just every time she shot, the way that her body absorbed the recoil, there was like that ass jiggle every shot. Oh my fucking oh. god. It was the best fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. I don't know. Oh, I like, dude, I really like booties. Damn, that's fucking beautiful. Your player of the match award. For Mr. Rajesh Bhutani, General Manager, Reliance Communications. And once you've collected the award, Martin, if you'd come to me, please. One second, sir. I'd like to talk to Martin. I'm sure we'd love to hear from... An Australian presenter has been left red-faced after cracking a joke about pizza shops during an interview with the Dalai Lama. The spiritual leader was left slightly bewildered by Karl Stefanovic's joke. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Cosa? Shop? Pizza shop. Pizza? Pizza shop, yes. Yeah, pizza, pizza shop. And says, can you make me one with everything? Hmm. What's that? That's what it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Can you make me one oh. with everything? Oh, oh. theoretically possible. <laughs> oh. oh, I knew that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. Well, for the last time I saw you, we were in Russia for Transformers. That was a fun. That was a fun. That was a fun. Oh, wow. was a fun junket. But I have to ask you. You know, the balance of creating a character and keeping it as real as possible, but also staying safe to yourself. I know. Is this scar actually from the movie on your face right here? Yeah. So about the moment that you did that. Was that something that was just you didn't plan that at all? I'm assuming. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I planned it. Yeah. I want to ask you, I saw you on Kim, I thought it was an incredible interview, I thought it was hilarious. Thanks, man. Um, I want to ask you about, about, about removing the tooth though, and, and did you actually really go to some random person, or did you, did you do it through a dentist? No, I went through a dentist. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk about being a part of this movie and how like, the David Ayer uses a lot of uh, real effects versus CGI. Where's the balance of safety versus being real, real realistic to the character? Uh, I, I, it's, not, it's not a question for me, I have no idea. Now, talk about watching this movie. Are you, are you able to watch yourself in a film? Are, are, can you be entertained by the movies that you're in? Yeah. Well, sorry, thank you so much, man. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. And I don't get it. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life, I just wanna scream. How could this happen to me? They 
email account. Do you have a private email address? That would be interesting for me to know. All of, Do you have a private email address? I don't, I don't email. You, no, you can have every email I've ever sent. I've never sent one. <laughs> so I don't right? know what that makes me, but it may. <laughs> but, but really, this is big in this regard. Did she communicate uh, on behalf of the Clinton Foundation as Secretary of State? Right. Did she call the terrorist attack in Benghazi a terrorist attack in real time? I want to know. And the one thing I'll never agree to is let the State Department to tell us what emails we should receive or let okay. her and her team tell us. Some independent group should do that.